What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rome 300. Back again, talk to you guys about some fragrances and also some other things that's going on with your boy. Thank you once again for watching my videos here on He Smells Like Rome. I really appreciate it. Um, I just realized a couple of, about a week ago, that I just jumped right into this. You know, I just jumped straight into doing this whole fragrance review journey thing and I really didn't give you know a thought of how a lot of people really take this um, serious and you know are really passionate about it I just did it because I really enjoyed fragrances and I wanted to give my point of view but um it's two things that I want to do um, one, I want to stop saying that this is going to be reviews. This is going to be, for me, my take on fragrances. I'm, I'm really new in understanding notes and, and, and ingredients and all the things that go on with um, reviewing a fragrance. And I don't want to diminish the qualities of all the other real solid reviewers out there so when I do something I'm basically going to do it like this I'm going to give you my take on it now just my perspective on what I think about the perfumes sometimes I might go into um, the notes and the perfumey and where it was made sometimes I'm just going to tell you if I like it and how it is that's basically how I want to do it because I really want to you know get a little bit more familiar and also educated about how to take steps of doing this the right way and also have some fun with it you know I, I definitely don't want to step on anyone's toes or insult anyone that's actually made this a craft um also i wanted to talk to you guys because no none of y'all really know me you know i wanted to introduce you to me um just for the sake of giving you an idea of who i am my name is Rome 300 as a comedian on stage and pretty much around uh, my friends most people call me Rome um, I'm a husband uh, I've been married almost six years this June um, I'm a father I have a three and a half year old son uh, beautiful little boy very smart uh, what else uh, I'm a full-time comedian, that's what I do. Um, I do also uh, train high school and college kids uh, in football. I do that in the summer and also in the spring. I mean, doing both, I've been a comedian about five years now and I've been training football players for maybe around seven years. Um, and a lot of people always wonder, they're like, how are you a comedian? You, you don't really act funny on TV or on camera. And it's the difference. When I'm on stage or I'm being filmed on uh, doing a comedy show, it's a whole nother character comes out. So if you're wondering why I don't act goofy all the time or I don't act funny all the time, it's because that can kind of drive you crazy. I can't be that character all day. So when I step off stage and I'm just chilling, I'm kind of laid back. Um, there are times that I can get like, you know, goofy as hell, you know, that's just me. That's my personality. But majority of the time I'm just kind of chill, laid back. Um, yeah. What else can I tell you about myself? Um, I'm a big kid. I'm a big kid at heart. You know what I mean? I'm very, uh, passionate about um, the youth and helping them get you know ahead in life um, I play a lot of video games I'm a gamer I've been a gamer since I was probably 10 uh, now I'm 34 years old and I don't think I'm ever gonna stop unless I get arthritis in my hand and I can't actually use my fingers then I'll probably just use on the iPads and just kind of just scroll 
or you know how they do an iPad and stuff. But yeah, uh, as you can see behind me, if you can't or you can, that's my gaming computer beside my PlayStation 3. I will get a PlayStation 4, I just haven't yet because I'm spending all my money on these damn fragrances. So I can literally buy a PlayStation if I didn't buy one fragrance. Or if I didn't buy two fragrances, I could buy a PlayStation. But this is taking more of a priority right now. What else about me? Uh, man, I, I'm a, a niche head all the way. Um, and not just in fragrances. Uh, I'm actually going to do a video about that also. But um, I love designer. I love high-end things. Um, I could tell you my passion and um, this, I guess you could say passion for me is actually not fragrances. I enjoy fragrances and I'm really enjoying getting into knowing more and collecting more fragrances. But my passion is um, audio. I'm an audiophile. Uh, most people don't know that, but I've been collecting uh, vinyl and also pieces of audio equipment to build a listening room when I get uh, when we finish uh, buying our house I'm going to actually have a, a room dedicated to audio now I'm not like a DJ or a producer or anything like that this is literally my own audio equipment some people know what audio file means um, if you're familiar with uh, something like TAD or Wilson audio or Macintosh which I don't consider that to be super high end because it's mainstream now but um, things like that um, there are a whole lot of different companies uh, another company is that I'm really interested in love is called uh, Absolori Audio it's a uh, tube amplifier amplification company that builds preamps and also um, amplifiers for uh, two channel stereo equipment so just wanted to let you guys know that I hope there's nothing else that I've left out um, oh I'm originally from Jersey City New Jersey um, I now live in Maryland I've uh, been here probably eight and a half years um, I'm really a city boy at heart I live kinda in the suburbs now uh, I call this Seattle, Maryland because it rains all the damn time here. But a really cool place to live, very calm, very uh very clean place. I mean living in the city everything is just dirty, so uh I have uh what else I can tell you? I have two brothers, one older, one younger, so I'm the middle child. Yes, the neglected one. Dead yes. Uh of a mother and father, of course. Um, I said a mother and father. A mother and father, of course. And if you don't or can't hear it, I have a slight lisp. It was much worse when I was a kid, but now it's better. I learned how to pronunciate. Um, yeah, I think that's it. You know. Um, if anybody have any questions or wanted to ask me anything, feel free to leave a comment down below, you know, that you want to know anything else about me. If it's not too personal, I'll let you know. But yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to let you know about me and also this whole, uh, you know, starting this journey. And I'm like I said, I'm not going to say review when I put up one of my fragrances that I purchased or I have now that I just want to talk about I'm gonna title it my take so until I get comfortable with that then maybe later on maybe a year from now I'll start doing reviews but I know that there's a lot of things I don't know and I don't want to go there so with that said hopefully you guys enjoyed that information if you didn't oh well if you did appreciate it um, but 
a few minutes, I'm gonna let the guys talk about what's behind me. And what behind me is some samples that I have here that I got from a whole bunch of different people. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Peace.